He raised an army with Strongbow in Wales and they went back and they took Wexford, Waterford and Dublin quite easily. Because you have to remember, Ireland was not a warring country as a nation. It was more insular and clan versus clan on the island of Ireland. It was very hard to fight us because we were always fighting with each other and maybe we would fight you as well. In the end, Richard de Clare, who is Strongbow, that's his real name, he was the second Earl of Pembroke to give his exact title. And lastly, to finish the story, Strongbow did marry Aoife and it was a very famous painting. And I believe that it is in Waterford City that, that they got married. And he did go on to become the King of Leinster. Here's the most important part. King Henry, remember, as I said, did not really have Ireland in mind. He saw how well Strongbow was doing. And in the end, King Henry came to Ireland too and stayed here for six months. And he placed all his people all over the, the country. And in the end, Strongbow only ended up with Kildare. Dermot MacMurrah, the ambitious, disgraced King of Leinster, went and sought help from King Henry, leading to Strongbow, leading to the invasion.